Hi and welcome to our Agicad Basic series. This is James from Code Build Solutions, and today we are going to learn about dimensioning in Agicad. Now, there are two types of dimensioning that we can do in Agicad, and the first one is what I am calling automatic dimensioning. Now for automatic dimensioning, I will show you three steps that you are supposed to follow. And the first step is to make sure that all the walls are selected. So I will hold down the shift button on my keyboard and click on all the walls to select them. Or alternatively, I can go to design and activate the wall tool when using control A on my keyboard I can select all the walls and when all the walls are selected go to document down here annotation select automatic dimension then exterior dimensions and make sure this button place dimensions on four sides is selected and click OK. Then move to where you want to place your first dimension. Then double click. You see all the dimensions are now placed automatically. So the first line of dimensions is showing the size of openings in relation to the edges of the walls and the second set of dimensions is showing the thicknesses of the walls and the other that dimension is showing total length of the walls now we can do this manually where we can specify what points we want to pick and where we want our dimensioning line to start so let's let's uh, delete all these dimensions so i'm going to document with the dimensions tool and using control a select all and hit delete on my keyboard so now if i wanted to place this line manually i'll use my my cursor make sure to select all the points that I want to dimension like this is point and after doing that I'll move that pencil pointer to exactly where I want to place my first line of dimensions and double click to place it then I would take the walls Same procedure, then we take the edges. Same procedure. Then I'll go to the other side of the building. Do the same. Select the walls. So you see the difference is that you will take more time when you are doing the manual dimensions. Now I want to show you how you can edit this, these lines, the text, text, the font, size and the color. So while dimensions tool is on, control A on your keyboard to select all dimensions and open this settings dialog. And you see here you can specify the line of the mark the the color of the mark 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 line so let's say you put that as green and the dimensioning line as that color now put the text as black <coughs> now this is where you can change the font size 
to let me use 2.5 and either make the text bold you can make it italics underlined or strike through the text and there are all these settings and maybe I can leave them for you to explore yeah, on your own and uh, when you are done make sure to click ok and you see the dimensions are updated now if I wanted to move this dimension line I will select it then ctrl D on my keyboard and move it that way you can also edit specific text like if I zoom on to this text and select it and uh, right click to dimension settings you see I can put here the value that I want to, to appear there and click OK pretty much very easy so that's it for now that's how to place dimensions on a floor plan and I hope you have learned something thanks so much for watching this video and please make sure to subscribe and you will receive updates when I post new videos that's it see you in the next lesson